Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Well, I've taken advantage of a sun break here in early February. It is chilly and it is windy, but it's not raining right at the moment. I've come up to the pea patch today to see what I can harvest at the very beginning of February. So let's take a look, okay? Well, there isn't a whole lot going on here at the pea patch right now at the beginning of February, but there is something I'm really happy to see. It is the purple sprouting broccoli. These shoots from this broccoli plant are just delicious. Now, they do turn dark green when you cook them, but they are so nice. And it is so awesome to have some fresh broccoli here in the middle of winter, right from your garden. Now, I have a few that I'm gonna harvest today, put in a stir fry or something like that. That will be great. But even though there's just a few today, there will be more and more and more as we get into the weeks of the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This will really produce quite a nice amount. Now I will say that these plants, the purple sprouting broccoli and the Romanesca, they can get quite big and they do take up a lot of space in your garden. So, you may want to think about that as you're doing your planning. However, I don't have anything else going on in my garden in the winter, so it's just fine. Anyway, it's just something to think about because they can take up a lot of space. And if space is a premium for you, maybe you want to think about something else. Now, I can also harvest a little bit of this lacinata kale. That'll be great to add to a soup or to a stir fry. There are a couple of really large cruciferous plants here. These are a little different from the purple sprouting broccoli. I am believing that they are the Romanesca that I planted. Now that is a really neat kind of chartreuse green cauliflower kind of thing. And if I can get it to maturity, that's going to be great. Now, as you look down in here, you can see there's some, a lot of little buds in the internodes there the little places right between the leaves we're gonna just watch and see this but I am really hopeful that it's gonna be a Romanesca that would be very very nice to have now there are other things that you can be harvesting in a winter garden even in February if you take the right precautions to protect it from the weather um, you could have lettuce growing under a cloche or perhaps even some um, beets that are still in the ground. I took mine all out in January and those were good. But there are some quite a few other things that you could be growing in the winter and be benefiting from that in your cooking. Yum! Well, I'm interested in finding out what I can do for next winter and have a little bit more variety coming around February. That would be really neat. Well, I will say there's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.